guys, I'm Maxwell Harden. Today, I'll be teaching you guys how you can make a gaming banner in Photoshop. So basically, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make a gaming banner similarly to this, all right? So first off, um, you do need this template over here. So I do have a template, you know, in the description. So you can just go on description, go into description and, you know, download this banner right now. And I also want to say sorry if I'm going a bit too fast. I don't want this video to be too long because it does take time to make a gaming banner because, you know, you're putting the time in it, all right? So it's going to take some time, all right? And uh, if this does take a long time, I might make like a two part series, but we'll see about that. So the first thing we have to do guys is just, you know, just get this template. All right, just open it in Photoshop. And then after that, get three images. All right, get three images, you know, like this, you know, you can make Black Ops 3, GTA 5, Watch Dogs or any game you want. You can make FIFA, any, any game. All right. So obviously I don't own these images, you know, I'm just going to edit with them and just play around them and make some and make an image similarly to this with um, this one over here. All right. So first off, what you have to do is um, go to the first image, all right? Um, I seriously like this image first because, you know, she's jumping and uh, it, it looks cool, all right? So the first thing we actually have to do is just click Control A and then Control C or Command A or Command C, anything if you're on Mac, just do, if you're smart, you know what I mean. So yeah, just go to the template and then just press Control V and then from there, um, try to place it um, kind of like in the rectangle box, you know, the first rectangle box. Um, but try to keep it like this much, not not like this, because that's where the text, you know, is going to be. And you don't want the text to come um, on top of the, you know, your characters. You don't want that to happen. So I'm going to put her just about um, there. That looks good. Also, another thing I'm going to do is just put the layer underneath the white stuff. All right, so now what you have to do is just put her just about there. Um, yeah, that looks good. And then get the eraser tool. All right, once you click on the eraser tool, go on this um, arrow over here. Just click on that and make this to about 250, around 250. I mean, I can just change it to 250, but I don't want to do that. And make the hardness 0%. And then from there you can just you know go at an angle all right erase from an angle like pretty much like that and the reason why we're doing that is because i mean it looks uh, pretty professional when you do it like that when you come from an angle and i believe that looks good let me just uh yeah yeah that looks good and then once you're done with the angle um just go on the second image so this is the gta5 one just click Control a and then Control c and then go on the template and then now what you have to do is just control v and uh, i think i'm just gonna put him like so another thing what you can do guys is just click control t and now you can just you know resize the the character so hold shift and then go on the corners or you know on the edges and then just you know resize them if you do it without holding shift you're gonna get you know you're gonna do this and you don't want that because that does not look professional like come on imagine somebody having um a picture like this like nobody likes a picture like this guys come on you're smart enough so i'm just gonna uh you know put this put him about here um all right so i'm just gonna put him over here he looks good over here and another thing what i suggest you guys do is just rename your layers all right so i'm just gonna click g uh, t a five Oh wow, percent wow. GTA percent guys, it's a great game man. You should really play that game. Quite interesting. Alright, so this is the Black Ops 3 one. Um alright. Now the reason why you you know name your files is because you know you look more organized and you know you know where everything is, alright? Trust me, name them. Alright, so now we have to do is just um go on this layer and just put this underneath the Black Ops 3 layer over there, and as you can see it has a cool 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 effect guys cool not cool forget about cool but cool all right so now go to watch dogs and press ctrl a and then ctrl c and then go back to the template and then press ctrl v and now you're gonna get the watch dogs image so just put him about there 
He looks good over there. All right, so now I'm just gonna put the watchdogs uh, Aiden just underneath GTA 5 and I'm gonna go back to the eraser tool and then go to GTA 5 and then I'm just gonna erase uh, at an angle, you know, so uh, you can see you can start to see uh, Aiden and then that looks good. All right, so uh, after you're done with that go to the go to the black ops 3 one um, and then just rectangle go to the rectangle tool over here i think it's called the rectangle marquee yeah i am kind of true yeah it's called the marquee marquee guys uh so just click on it and then just highlight the portion that you want so i'm gonna get this portion over here with the guy um shooting so Control c and then go to the template and then Control v and uh where's the guy yeah the guy is lost just gonna put them on top of the black ops 3 layer and then from there i'm gonna move him uh, to the side but i want to make him look cool all right if you know what i mean but uh, i guess it's not necessary but yeah that looks cool um now i'm gonna get the eraser tool and i'm gonna erase like a section yeah that looks good all right so i think i'm done yeah i'm done with the images guys i'm just gonna rename this again i'm gonna name this uh b03 I'm gonna just name this BO3 because why not? All right, and now I'm just gonna hold Control and then press Black Ops 3 and then GTA 5 and Watch Dogs and then Control G and then just rename this file to um, Images. All right, so after you're done with the background, all you have to do is just go to Images and then go to the BO3 and then go to Image, Adjustment, Desaturate and as you can see, it's black and white now and we want it to be black and white because in my opinion when you make an image black and white it looks pretty cool in a way um yeah it's so just desaturate them another quick way you can do is just hold Control, shift and u and it's going to desaturate all right so after you've desaturated your image now what you have to do is add a black overlay now what i mean by that is just go to the create new layer over here at the bottom right corner just create new layer and then name this to uh, black overlay now i'm gonna name this dark overlay because it's not gonna be completely black and then after that i'm gonna go to the color thing over here just click on that and then you're gonna get this thing over here just make this uh, the color picker you make this about gray all right just go about the gray area over there just click ok and then from there go to this you know this rectangle tool over here rectangle marquee and then just highlight the 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 rectangle that you know you wanna uh, make gray so I'm just gonna you know just make this and that and I've selected it now press alt delete and then don't worry yeah don't worry and then now just go to opacity and just make this to about let's see what looks good um 30 yeah 30 looks good guys just make this 30 and then now you're basically done with the background so what you have to do now is just go on the text tool all right now we're gonna write the channel name and basically you know what the channel is all right so just go over here and then type in your channel name so my channel name is extra roid so i'm just gonna do that and then if it's too large just press Control a and then just go to the point thing over here and then just change it i'm gonna make this to about 150 150 looks good I was thinking of 170 but 150 is not that bad so I'm gonna put this right in the middle all right so now I'm gonna align this by pressing Control a and then pressing this tool over here and then this tool over here so basically another way you can do this is go to layer align layers to selection vertical centers and then layer align layers to selection horizontal layers so what that does is basically puts it right in the like middle basically this is right in the middle but i don't want it right in the middle like i want it right about um there that looks good um so yeah that basically is for the username another thing what i also like to do is just add in uh, a text saying over here the official so I'm just gonna press Control A and make the font a bit like, let's say, yeah, that, that's good. The official channel off, and then, yeah, I mean, the font still looks a bit big. I'm gonna, you know, make it 24. No, 24 is a bit too small. 36, yeah, 36 looks decent. 
I'm just gonna put this right above the username I'm just gonna zoom in so to zoom in just press control and then the plus alright so now I'm just gonna click on the layer and then right click on it and press the blending options and then from there I'm just gonna you know press gradient overlay alright so now I'm just gonna change the opacity to about um, 24 so now as you can see it looks a bit metallic and that looks cool I'm gonna add in a drop shadow as well and I'm gonna make this 90 degrees and I'm gonna make the distance 0 no I'm gonna make add in distance of like 4 or 2 yet yeah, I'm gonna make it 3 I'm gonna make it 5 yeah 5 why not guys and make the spread uh, a bit high and make the size a bit decent like that and press OK and as you can see the, the it looks pretty neat and I'm gonna do the same thing with the extra roid so to do that just press right click and then copy layer style go to extra roid right click on it paste layer style and as you can see extra roid looks the same so I'm just gonna play around with the drop shadow and you can do really pretty much whatever you want just gonna make it a bit more like that all right so now what I'm gonna do is just uh, you know zoom out and then add a white layer in the bottom in the bottom or on the bottom uh, side of the banner um, you'll see what I mean in a second so just click on the rectangle tool over here and then just do it like so and then click on the you know color picker again and then make this white click OK and then create a new layer and then name this uh, white overlay bottom I should have named it bottom white overlay I know I spelled the white wrong don't hit me please don't roast me in the comments so now what you have to do is just press alt delete and as you can see this whole bottom is white and now what you have to do is just go on the opacity and then change this to about um, let me see I think 15 looks good but I'm just gonna see what else looks good I think 20 looks good so I'm just gonna leave it at uh, around 25 okay I'm just gonna leave it at 25 and see how good that looks so let me just look at it right now uh, 25 okay that looks good um, I'm just gonna press Control A and uh, yeah so now what you have to do is just click on the eraser tool over here and then from there what you can do is just click on the white overlay bottom yeah just click on that layer and then now do it from an angle all right so like this all right and as soon as this okay see as soon as you reach this you know root guideline over here just stop erasing all right so just what I you know do the same what I've done over here to this side so I'm just gonna do the same come at come in from an angle and do the same thing like so yeah that looks good and now I'm gonna add in the social links so to add the social links I'll provide the texture pack in the description it's from a youtuber his name is rated and he does he does a ton of you know you know stuff like you know graphics alright so I've opened the social icon pack and I'm gonna find Twitter Facebook and Twitch all right so this is the Twitter one so to move it to the other side just go into the move tool and then just highlight the Twitter one I mean just hold it and then just go to the template and then just add them over here um, now I'm just gonna press Control plus and zoom in on it so I can edit it you know close up I'm gonna put him over here and press Control T and resize it to a bit of a smaller um, yeah that looks good and I'm just gonna press the check mark and that looks good so I'm gonna add in the text I'm gonna add in the add extra right over here so at extra roid control a and now I'm gonna you know uh, change the size so I'm just gonna uh, expand that and then just go to about 24 no not 24 I think I'm gonna make this about um, let me see I think 20 yeah 20 looks good I'm just gonna put it or next to the Twitter sign so right about there uh, I mean it still looks you know a bit weird that it's not aligned but 
okay I think I'm I think it is aligned but I don't I'm not sure and I think I'm gonna leave it as it is I mean I can change the color of the text to the icon color I think I'm gonna do that so I'm just gonna click on the tool over here and then just click on the Twitter icon press OK and there you go it has changed but it just does not look good I don't know I think it's just me you can barely see the you know text so to fix that I'm just gonna add in a drop shadow just just right click on it blending options and then from there I'm gonna go on the drop shadow and then I'm gonna add in a zero distance and then add in a small like real small like that extra roid I'm just gonna make the size I'm um, as 5 and the spread as 22 and make the opacity to 100 and press OK and I'm gonna do the same thing with the Twitter logo just right click on it copy layer style go on Twitter paste layer style all right paste layer style and the Twitter logo looks the same as the low text so now I'm gonna group the Twitter so I'm just gonna press control on the at extroid and then just press control G and now I'm just gonna re the, rename this to Twitter sorry guys if I sound a bit weird and boring cuz you know I really want to complete this video and yeah so I'm just gonna go to the icon again and go to Facebook and do the same as what I have done with the Twitter all right so after you're done with the you know social links over here now what you have to do is add in a texture so to do that just go to file go to open and uh, the textures um, are gonna be provided by rated I mean you know this this is the rated LXX pack part one so you have to go to the part two all right so I'm just gonna do that right now I'm gonna go to downloads I'm gonna go down to rate it there you go part two and then from there I'm gonna go to texture stocks and then click the black and white grunge and then control a control C go to the image uh, where was my template I think it was this one and now I'm just gonna press control V and now I'm just gonna press control T and then just hold shift and then just expand this so I'm just gonna do that right now one second I'm do that sorry guys if this video is a bit long I mean I just wanted to make this uh, tutorial because I know most of you guys play games and I thought it would be a fun way to you know help you guys and now what you have to do is just go on the opacity and make this to about 15 uh, no no I do that about um, 25 all right and put this right underneath the text all right so as you can see the banner does look pretty neat all right guys so pretty you're pretty much done after that so yeah guys that's about it for this video if you haven't liked the video guys please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let's see if you can smash a hundred likes i know it's a big goal but i believe we can do it and if you haven't subscribed already guys if you're new to the channel please be sure to subscribe and as always Thanks for watching. The word dream has five letters, extra also has five letters. Five plus five is ten. The word ten has three letters. Do you know what has three sides? That is right. A bullet.